All right, guys, I have spent a number of hours playing with this Trials of Osiris Scout Rifle, and it deserves it. This is one of the OGs, man. Now, this is a 150 round per minute scout rifle, which actually has one of the best time to kills in the game, if you are precise. Today, guys, we're going to be reviewing this scout rifle because, yes, it comes with the new perk, Celerity. On top of coming with Celerity, it's just an all-around great feeling scout. So first up, intrinsically, this is a high impact frame scout, meaning slow firing and high damage. Now the weapon is more accurate while you are stationary and aiming down sights. Something to keep in mind, I know a lot of us don't really like to slow down too terribly much, but if you want to maintain those three crits at that optimal time to kill at 0.8 seconds, you might want to just pop a squat, get stationary, which I'm pretty sure high impact frame all by itself activates while you are crouched. So as long as you find yourself crouched, you're good. Now I've got a number of roles here and we tested a bunch of different stuff first up let's just take a real quick look at our celerity role now celerity states that you gain the following effects while you are the last member of your fire team so in things like elimination survival trials when everyone on your team dies you gain the benefits of increased target acquisition increased handling and reload speed and a reduction in flinch from incoming fire now this is a great opportunity for us to actually sit there and gauge how effective this perk actually is as this may not be the perk on this scout rifle but it definitely may be the perk on say a sniper rifle which we know we're going to get a trials of a cyrus sniper now my experiences being the last guarding and standing with something like celerity was pretty positive it was a noticeable difference like i said yesterday it's like a pseudo perk of last resort on steroids that increase in target acquisition is extremely nice for both pc users with mouse and keyboard and controller users the only downside is is that it is a scout rifle so the chances of you clutching up a 1v3 with a scout especially in this meta it's still difficult got one of the best time to kills but it's definitely not the most optimal weapon when you got three opponents crashing on you now the perk next to it is quick draw now quick draw has been associated as increasing or maxing out that handling speed of any given weapon on top of that it has amazing pullout game but that's not the only benefit that quick draw has it actually works as a 0.5 version of snapshot snapshot allows allows us to aim down sights almost immediately. Quick draw is not quite as fast as snapshot, but it is damn close. I mean, damn close, which is nice. Considering that this is a high impact frame scout rifle, aiming down sights can sometimes feel a little clunky, a little slow. And when you're having to sit there and reset your aim, quick draw is fantastic. As you get kind of the best of both worlds, the increase in draw time speed, as well as that increase there in ADS speed. Now, another role that we actually tried out is this role right here. And I said I wanted to try it. Elemental capacitor on a 150 round per minute scout rifle, as it actually gives us a ton of benefits based on the subclass you are using. Solar gives you that increase to reload speed. Art gives you that increase to handling. Void gives you that increase to stability. The subclass that we actually rocked it with is a void one. I wanted to see how much this increased stability felt like. Was it noticeable? It actually is. You'll see me shooting right here with it. You can tell there's not as much hop, which is nice for those consecutive shots. Now, unfortunately, this does not mean it drives down bloom. My experience with this so far is that 150s when you max out that rate of fire that reticle will bloom out thus meaning you gain that level of rng there where your shot could potentially miss kind of stupid but this is like bungie's way of keeping things balanced but in this sandbox considering the time that kills of our other weapons especially auto rifles in this sandbox blue my 150s is pretty unnecessary i really wish they just get rid of it considering that sniper rifles are so strong on pc having these scout rifles especially 150s avoid that bloom would allow for more room there for competition but yes it was noticeable matter of fact we actually went the route of rocking that with the counterbalance mod throwing our recoil direction up to 95 making the weapon almost perfectly vertical now the trade next to it is underdog kind of a weird one not gonna lie i have talked so much trash about underdog as the weapon gains a boost to reload speed as your health gets lower surprisingly i took advantage of this more than i thought normally after a gunfight my health was low and that increase of reload speed was extremely nice as it allowed me to re-engage and considering that i don't have to get a kill to activate something like this there is some benefit there to underdog now granted i honestly think that underdog could have been better if it had another side perk like you gain a boost to reload speed and say something like range as your health gets lower pretty sure underdog gave us a boost in range as your health got lower back in destiny one would have been nice if we got that here not that the scout rifle needs range with its zoom at 21 and its healthy range stat 
We are reaching like damage fall off range of about 85 meters, which means you're pretty much going to be A-OK -okay all across the board throughout all of our maps. Damage fall off should not be an issue. Now, another big benefit about the scout rifle is the ability to highlight targets. I really like that. Highlighting those targets, seeing them as they're trying to like peek back into cover. Pretty sure this is something that all trial weapons have, but the Scholar has it present here, which is extremely nice. Now let's get into the God Roll portion of this video, as well as the hidden stats. Hidden stat wise, the gun is about tied with most of our other high impact scout rifles. I say the only standout perk, and it's not even a standout perk, is maybe the handling being a tad bit better and the stability being right there dead in the middle. Outside of that range and everything else, pretty much ties with it. Got a max size of 13 though and a base recoil direction of 80 and like i said with the symbol counterbalance mod if you wanted to put that on there just allow yourself to stay more vertical puts it at 95 which is just about perfect now the god roll for this weapon after playing with it experiencing with celerity quick draw elemental capacitor opening shot I would say out of all of these perks, if you really want to make this 150 feel the way like a 200 round per minute scout rifle feels in terms of snappiness and quickness, I would go with quick draw. Now, you don't want to go overboard with it. I wouldn't suggest quick draw and snapshot because like I said, quick draw already increases that ADS speed simply because the weapon is readying itself faster. When you come around a corner, the weapon, even while holding it, will ready faster. On top of that, if you're like me, I like to swap weapons a ton. It's kind of going back and forth so much. Quick draw is extremely beneficial. Now we do have no distractions. We experimented with no distractions before in the past on the Scout Rifle Imperative. This was actually the Scout Rifle from Season of the Undying from Vex Offensive. It does what it's supposed to do. It literally does not flinch. So much so that upon playing with no distractions, it threw my aim off as I got kind of used to overcorrecting due to flinch. So no distractions is great if you're willing to lane out as it does take a second there to activate the beautiful thing about quick draw with that increase there in ads speed you'll be aiming down sights faster thus allowing you to proc no distractions just slightly faster I'm talking about milliseconds here guys but it can make a difference. As far as celerity goes, I like celerity. I like it so much that I wish it was just an intrinsic perk on an adept version of the Scholar. And by the way, someone left a comment the other day or yesterday saying that we didn't even have adept weapons back in Destiny 1 year one. You're smoking crack, man. We most definitely had adept weapons. Celerity here is perfectly designed to serve as an intrinsic perk on all of these weapons, but considering that's not the case, I would say that if you are someone that relies on scout rifles for those clutch moments, then the role that I was using, Celerity and Quick Draw, is a great role. But if you want to just go overboard with it, you can also rock something like Opening Shot and Celerity. Roll those two together. You need a weapon that has just fantastic accuracy, both on the initial shot and just increased target acquisition overall. That's a combination I would not overlook. As far as Elemental Capacitor goes, the increase in stability is something noticeable, even for PC users. Now, whether or not you need it, well, that's completely up to you. Like I said, I wish Elemental Capacitor there, considering that it's actually making you use a certain subclass to get the benefit out of it. I wish the void version of it, instead of increasing stability, it just reduced bloom. And before someone says, oh man, that would make scout rifles way too OP. Bro, really? You want to talk about that? Other weapons have had their bloom significantly reduced. Auto rifles don't really run into it, or any other full auto weapon doesn't really run into it. Scout rifles, they get the worst end of it. So either bloom needs to be just reduced overall, which would be the ideal thing to do, or elemental capacitor actually affects it in a way that does reduce that bloom. Because what ultimately ends up happening, if you want to get the three tap, consider Consistently, you cannot shoot at the full 150 rounds per minute. Instead, you're actually shooting at 140, maybe even less than that, maybe 130, which is why we always recommend sitting there and letting your reticle reset, almost like a DMR from Halo, right? It's crazy. Same mechanics are still present today in a bungee game in 2020. It's wild. So guys, those are the roles that I would go for. As for PVE, I just don't think this weapon is meant for PVE. It's not that it doesn't feel good. There's just nothing here that allows it to be super lethal inside of PvE. Outside of maybe Vorpal Weapon, which does allow you to do increased damage against bosses. But who in the hell is doing DPS to a boss with a scout rifle? I wouldn't suggest it. The only other perk that we didn't bring up was Slideways, which does give us a boost there to handling and stability. And I didn't bring it up because it's a weird one. It's on a scout rifle. This is a high impact weapon. Sliding kind of throws off what you're trying to do intrinsically, which is to be stationary. I will say this, Slideways 
and Celerity would actually be a fantastic combination to clutch up with. I would really consider it, more so for my console users. For my PC users though, and mouse and keyboard, I would just take Quick Draw. Like if you're looking for a boost there in handling, just use Quick Draw. No, you won't get the stability benefits from Slideways, but even that buff is on a short window. Quick Draw is something that can benefit you throughout the entire gunfight, whether you're sliding or not. So fellas, that is our review there for the Scholar. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Are you liking these weapons? I'll say that the batch of weapons this weekend is not nearly as potent as the weapons are going to be next weekend. Now, next on the list that we're going to be reviewing is probably the Fusion Rifle, as I also got a Celerity roll on it. Kind of some funky stuff happening with the Fusion with Celerity. We'll talk about it in the review, though, tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.